All right. Ooh, guys, it's your favorite video. Everybody's favorite videos. The HRT updates, cause you know, gotta update you guys on uh on the boobs growing and that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get the notes out right now. Ooh, I got like coffee, you know, like coffee mouth. Ever you ever get that? Or you drink a coffee and then your mouth gets all like pasty and stuff. La la, whoa, okay, okay, we got the. Mic right here, check. Hair game's looking strong today, like, whoa. Whoa, I got so much volume, <laughs> okay. Wow, all right, um, all right, I think we're good. I think we're, I think we're chilling. We got everything, we got everything ready to go, and yeah, I'll stop talking now, but yeah. Nine months, baby. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sam Downey here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you guys haven't already, at samdowney44. Also, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here, youtube.com slash samdowney. Oh yeah, we're posting videos here all the time. Trans stuff, non-binary stuff, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so make sure to subscribe. Really do appreciate all my subscribers. I really do appreciate how much my channel has grown in the past couple of months, and it's all thanks to you guys. So, you know, pat yourselves on the on the back. You know, yeah, we'll just, yeah. Yay, yeah, honestly, literally, thanks so much for subscribing and watching my videos all the time and commenting and giving them a thumbs up. I really do appreciate everyone that does that because y'all are, y'all are awesome. So, this is everyone's favorite video of the month that I said. Um, basically, you know, it's my HRT updates or hormone replacement therapy or feminizing replacement therapy if you're new to the channel. Basically, I, I was assigned male at birth or a biological male and I'm transitioning to be a non-binary person using feminizing hormone therapy, which is uh, estrogen and testosterone blockers in some cases. For me, I am using testosterone blockers. Some people just uh, do monotherapy with estrogen, but I decided to do the, I decided to block out that testosterone too, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, get out of me. Nine months, as I said, like, whoa, that's pretty crazy, guys. It's almost been, it's been like three, three quarters of a year, basically. Um, I've had a lot of changes. Um, obviously, I say this in all my monthly updates. It might be kind of the same or a little bit different than my eight-month update, but there are a couple of things that have changed in this last month that I wanted to go over as well. But uh, yeah, and also, you know, if you are deciding to go on HRT, keep in mind your nine months might not be the same as my nine months it, uh, HRT hits everyone differently so you know don't don't be like sitting there like whoa I'm gonna be growing boobs at this time I'm gonna be doing this at this time oh my face is gonna change at this time it's like no like it's all different for everyone so you know but you know having a reference like me it was pretty pretty chill if you ask me you know what I'm saying okay <laughs> all right we're gonna we're gonna jump into the video before someone slaps me across the face and is like just talk about your boobs already first thing I want to talk about is uh, my overall strength and like muscle mass has totally gone down I um, mean you know I used to be actually pretty strong for being a small guy but yeah I can't really lift as much uh, heavy stuff anymore also like I guess like my cardio has gone down a bit too I just ran a uh, 5k race a couple of days ago and uh, you could tell like my times have gone a lot more down and I was a lot more tired at the end of the race. So yeah, I would say my overall strength and endurance has gone down a bit since uh, being on HRT for sure. Like it's not super drastic or anything, but it is something you have to get used to uh, after a while. But um, you know, overall though, like, you know, losing a bit of muscle math, mass isn't a big deal to me. Like I could always go to the gym if I wanted to build up more arm strength, but really that isn't really a big important part of my life or anything like that. Like I don't have to be jacked, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm good with my body right now. So, but yeah, like obviously if I wanted to build more muscle mass, I could go to the gym or do something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like lift some weights and yeah, <laughs> do some deadlifts. So uh, my libido has settled down a bit. I know in the last couple of months that I've uh, been doing these HRT updates, my libido uh, or like sex drive has came back, but it has kind of settled down a bit uh, now. Obviously I can still get an erection, everything like that, like nothing like that. I can still get an erection and it's totally fine. Can take a little bit longer and it also I have to be really in the mood to get a full on erection. But overall, like it's, it's not that bad, but yeah, my libido has gone down a bit. Nothing too crazy or anything though but you know the main point of the libido thing is you know the penis the penis is still working guys it's still it's still choo choo chewing away you know what i'm saying <laughs> that was a 
That was a weird response. Also, when it comes to like ejaculations and that kind of stuff, my ejaculations are totally clear. No whiteness or anything like that. It's literally just a clear fluid. So basically, I probably am like pretty close to being infertile. This isn't new though. It has been like this probably for the last couple of months. Obviously, something to keep in mind if you're looking to go on HRT, like you will probably be infertile when you're on HRT. If you go off HRT, you might have a slight chance of getting your fertility back, but there is still a good chance that you're going to be infertile as well. So, you know, if you are looking to have kids, you know, make sure to keep that in consideration. Me? Nope. <laughs> I've never wanted kids. So, you know, it's kind of a blessing to me. But for some people, I know that they are interested in starting a family and that kind of stuff. For me, that is not the case. Like, I've never wanted kids. Like, don't get me wrong. I like kids, but I like being the cool aunt slash uncle. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's as far as I go with kids. Everybody's favorite part breast growth so it has slowed down a bit but they are still growing for sure they are pretty big to be honest too um you know like i totally can fit into a like full-on bra um no problem they do uh i've said this in other videos they do grow a little bit wider than um like cisgender female breasts but in the end you know there are bras that will accommodate to that i really like wireless bras i only wear wireless bras like i barely wear underwire bras unless i'm like looking to like you know pop them out, you know what I'm saying, but, uh, but, uh, but yeah, I usually wear, like, a wireless bra or a sports bra, so it's not really a problem for me, but they do grow a little bit more out than, um, kind of more in and straight, like, a cisgender female's breast, but it doesn't really bother me at all, but yeah, they are pretty big, they, there's a decent amount of breast tissue there, too, and totally, like, you know, I, I'm not going for a run without a sports bra, like, yo, that stuff, that hurts, like, damn, like, I don't know, even jumping up and down sometimes at concerts, like, I'm like, ow, like, <laughs> or if I'm in the mosh pit, like, good thing I wore a padded bra, like, yo, I don't know, man, some dudes, like, they just love pushing you around by the chest, and I'm like, dude, I have boobs, like, you know, I'd really appreciate if you didn't just keep on pushing me in the chest, but yeah, um, also pro tip, if you're ever in the mosh pit and you have boobs, um, you know, keep them protected, you know, just be jumping around like this, like, yo, nobody's touching my chest. Overall, though, I am really satisfied with my breast growth, like, honestly, it's so, it's so dope. Hopefully, I can get a little bit more fullerness, and they can get a little bigger, and start growing a little more inward, uh, when I get more on HRT and everything like that, but right now, I'm really satisfied with all the breast growth that I've gotten, and, you know, no regrets or anything that like yo i'm loving i don't know sometimes i just stare at my boobs like and, and i play with them in bed and it's just that's my life guys that's my life just sam downey playing with their boobs all the time <laughs> my skin is softer facial features are totally softer so yeah skin wise totally softer like yeah I've, i have super uh super clear and super soft skin for sure thanks to like the testosterone blocker and the estrogen for sure also my face has gotten a lot more feminine like uh i've been very fortunate to get a lot of feminization in my face if you look at my older videos i had more of like a chiseled face like a really uh distinct jawline and my face has kind of like more become more a little bit more rounder and my features have gotten a lot softer so my cheeks have gotten a little bit chubbier my eyes have gotten a little bit like almost like fattier and bigger overall yeah my facial features and feminization in my face like yeah it's been a huge surprise and it's so nice like honestly like you know i didn't think i was gonna get that much feminization features because i was like oh crap you know how, how everyone is oh crap i started too late at 24 when you know there's people that transition in their 60s and they still get really good results so you know but i know everybody has that kind of like thought like oh is it too late but yeah i totally had that thought too thinking that I wouldn't get as much feminization in my face and I've really gotten a lot of feminization in my face and I'm pretty fortunate for that too. Also talking about the face is kind of the face I guess but my hairline has gotten a lot better. I'm starting to grow a lot more baby hairs and it started to fill out my more uh, my scalp and everything. Um, you know I had a little bit of a receding hairline nothing too crazy but I feel like you know the estrogen has really helped it to become back to like what my normal hairline was when I was like you know in my teens or whatever right. Um, so yeah when it comes to like my body body changes or body fat redistribution I've gotten a lot of um I've gained a decent amount of like body fat in my like hips and kind of like hip, yeah hips and waist area for sure I totally have like you know a very I have wider hips for sure like I can't even tell just from like you know wearing old clothes that I have and so like that and like you know old guys pants like yeah they're totally a little bit tighter around the waist and you know I feel like a lot of my shirts have gotten a lot smaller around my like torso area sorry they, they've got a lot bigger around my like torso area tori torso area besides my boobs overall like yeah like uh, I feel like yeah a lot of my body fat has kind of shifted from you know like 
the mid torso and stomach area to my butt and like hips area. Obviously, I still got kind of a negative ass. Like it's not it's not too big, but I feel like it has kind of grown a bit for sure. My ass um, and like butt area, but um, yeah, overall, like I've gotten a lot of like body fat redistribution, and uh, recently I feel like I've gotten a lot more in the last month or two. So that is something that has changed in the last couple of months for sure. Is my uh, body fat redistribution because you know, and we're down for it. Yeah, I'm down for it. Like I want a booty. You know what I'm saying? I just want a booty. <laughs> I just want that. That's all I want, guys. <laughs> Tired of this negative butt thing. You know how hard it is to buy skinny jeans when your ass sags in the in the back, guys. It's a real struggle. Struggle. feel bad for me <laughs> uh emotional emotional changes honestly guys i'm gonna be real with you like you know this last uh, month or month has been a little bit a little trickier emotional wise i have been a little bit emotional been like kind of fighting like demons and stuff like that but i have really been working on myself and you know i feel like i've gotten a lot better over the past couple of weeks but i did have a time where i was like you know kind of a little bit uh i was a little bit more emotional and you know my mental health was kind of struggling overall just because uh, you know obviously the changes from like hormones and stuff it can be hard sometimes but that's why i really do enjoy doing these videos and just doing videos for you guys because i don't know like i just get in front of the camera and i start talking to you guys and like my whole mood and like mental health in general at that time just like skyrockets because i'm just like i just enjoy so much talking to you guys and like sharing my feelings with everyone uh that subscribes to my channel and just like all you guys in general on the internet um so i really do appreciate doing these videos and like it's almost like a therapy for me right you know and you know it's, i've never really brought up that point but like yeah like you know making these videos is like a total therapy for me and it really helps me just like stabilize my mental health in general and just like my overall health in general really just being able to talk about my feelings and talk about my changes and talk about everything like that with like you know a very open-minded group and you know obviously i do have some friends that i can talk about this stuff with but you know just overall like i just feel so much more comfortable just talking to everyone online that i know is going to be super open-minded and it's just like super interested in learning about my life and learning about my transition position and my journey in general and same goes for you know i love learning about your guys journeys in the comments and everything like that too so obviously like you know i'm just saying thanks so much guys like i like you guys you guys mean the world to me like honestly all these subscribers on my channel you guys all mean the world to me and like it's it's a really a dream come true you know being able to do these kind of videos and actually get decent traction and get like you know growth on my channel and everything like that but yeah overall i believe that's really it for the nine month update like uh you know it's been a it's been a journey these last nine months guys i gotta admit there's been a lot of ups there's been a lot of downs but hey in the end still as i said i say in every month update it's still a dream come true still unreal just like the amount of changes and the amount of confidence i've grown since uh starting hrt like i was so lost before i uh, before i started hrt i didn't want i didn't know who i was didn't know who i wanted to be and you know just since being able to start my medical transition and uh, getting like the help and care that I needed, it's just been like unreal, just the amount of like, yeah, confidence and like, yeah, overall confidence I've really gained from just this whole journey in general. And it's really unreal. And you know, yeah, like, <laughs> thanks so much, honestly, like, ah. Getting kind, of, getting kind of emotional right here <laughs> but uh, uh you know thanks so much guys really do appreciate all the support uh if you want to support me more feel free to check out my patreon um it's about four dollars a month if you want to support my transition and support my uh, youtube channel here just to give me some extra money to you know produce more content for you guys and help out with my uh medical transition and the bills and my hormones and all kind of stuff like because i am paying out of pocket right so you know really do appreciate that but as i say always you know i am looking to create free educational content and free content for everyone so you know no pressure or anything like that but if you do have a couple of bucks to spare and you want to help me out i would really do i really do appreciate that but uh no pressure or anything like that and yeah make sure to follow me on instagram if you guys haven't already at sam downey 44 also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel right here youtube.com slash sam downey do it right now click that subscribe button i'll wait let's do it click oh you got the subscribe down now do you turn on the notifications Yep. Oh yeah, you did. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Really do appreciate all the support. And you know, I guess that's really it for this video and catch you guys next time. Peace.